George Tinsley, Kentucky Wesleyan College. George Tinsley helped lead Kentucky Wesleyan to the NCAA Division II National Championship in 1966, 68, and 69, and became the first player to start and win three NCAA National Championships. Between 1966 and 1969, Tinsley started a record 20 NCAA tournament games and was named to the all-tournament team in 1968 and 69, earning MVP honors in 1969. He was named to the Southern Region All-Tournament Team in 1967, 68, and 69, while earning the Regional Tournament's Most Outstanding Player Award in 1968 and 69. For his career, he finished with 2,014 points, 1,115 rebounds, and was named First Team All-American in 1969. Tinsley was named to the NCAA Division II Elite Eight's 50th Anniversary Team and the NCAA Division II's All-Decade Team. He was also the first Division II player to be inducted into the State of Kentucky's Hall of Fame. Tinsley was selected by the Oakland Oaks of the ABA and the Chicago Bulls of the NBA in the 1969 draft. George Tinsley, Kentucky Wesleyan College and inductee into the 2017 class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Please welcome to the stage 2017 Hall of Fame inductee from Kentucky Wesleyan University, George Tinsley. Thank you, good evening. I uh, want to thank John McCarthy and, this, and his staff for doing such an outstanding job of putting the Small College uh, Hall of Fame uh, in, into, into uh, action. There are so many great players that have played in, in Small College ball, not Division I, uh, have, have had the chance to uh, find themselves and had the chance to go out and, and uh, make something of themselves and be, and be successful. So it's, it's, uh, it's great that uh, guys are now getting the chance to be honored. And it's going to take a while, obviously, to get caught up because there's a lot of guys out there that uh, deserve to have this opportunity uh, that uh, I, I know for sure, uh, one of them being one of my former teammates that uh, certainly should be, uh, be here also. But that, that those will, will, uh, will get caught up. I want to thank all the, or congratulate all the guys back there in the back. Uh, tremendous stories uh, from Bob Butterbean, love story straight on through. Of a lot of guys who have, uh, have attained this, this honor tonight that have traveled some tough roads. I do a lot of uh, speaking and turning, uh, turning obstacles to opportunity. And that comes from in my early childhood. I was, I was adopted at seven months old by a lady that was 65 years old had one leg, couldn't read or write, and we got a $65 a month Social Security check. We, had, we stayed in one room, a 10 by 10, slept in one bed uh, until I was 13, and she passed away. I went to live with her son and his wife, and he worked at night, she worked uh, during the day, so I had to sleep in bed with her. And that wasn't the greatest experience in the world for her, nor for myself, but it was another one of those obstacles that uh, I, I had to deal with that helped mold me the person that I am today. So um, uh, sooner, uh, in a few years, I was able to get my own room when I was in high school, and that molded that guy, that, this guy that uh, had the opportunity to start playing organized basketball at a school down the road here in Louisville, Kentucky, called Louisville Male High School. And there uh, is where I started learning the game and learning how it should be played according to uh, the, the great coaches that we had, which led to uh, me having an opportunity to get a scholarship to go to Kentucky Wesleyan College, which is right down the road from here, which was a beginning of a real uh, uh, true career. And I, I really appreciate that opportunity to uh, play in a small school, which we only had about 750 students. I don't think it's that much bigger today that uh, we all got real close. We were real close, the players, the, 
the uh, uh, coaches, the, the uh, administrators, and the community, and all helped make each one of us who we became and as we uh, matriculated through, uh, through school. Kentucky Wesleyan was, uh, was a very special school to me, and, and I want to thank uh, Dr. Darrell, who's here, Bart Darrell, who's here, president of the uh, college for uh, the support the college has given, uh, uh, Roy Pickroll, and uh, uh, also, um, and I'm trying to read my own writing here, uh, also a uh, young man sitting right here in front of me, Mr. Joel Lutley, who helped uh, uh, motivate me and keep me going uh, through those uh, through those years. The All American Club that uh, supports uh, Kentucky Wesleyan College travels all over the the country and and coaches Guy Strong who offered me the scholarship to Wesleyan and Bob Daniels who was the assistant coach and who later became the head coach uh, as well as a, a coach that was there a retired retired coach Coach Bullet Wilson who also gave us a lot of words and wisdom. Uh, that, uh, that helped. Uh, uh, Nurse Lucy Fulton, who became a surrogate mother for me there on campus, who helped me through a lot of times. I, I wanted to make sure that I, I recognize those, uh, those individuals. Uh, also tonight here, uh, this table right over here, there's uh, my teammates uh, from college throughout my four years. I love each one of you. I appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, there's a couple of guys over there that uh, I talk to quite frequently. They kind of keep me sane. Uh, they, we, they call them my twin brothers there. They're brothers from another mother uh, that, we, that, that we try to keep each other straight. Uh, and uh, one travel all the way from, from New York down here to, uh, to be a part of this. I appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you, each one of you, for being here tonight. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, Another special thanks that uh, I want to mention one of those one of those guys, uh, Dallas Thornton, uh, the one one of those guys sitting there at the table. Dallas and I played in high school and also in college. And Dallas by far was the best player, and, and has been the best player I played against and played with in my in my career. He motivated me to be the best that I could be because I didn't want him to always beat me in in the in the gym and so forth. So uh, as time go time went on, I I caught up with him. He claims I. Should shot all the basketball so uh, later on he didn't get any shots so but we, we debate that of course there's another one over there that says the same thing <laughs> but anyway those guys I love each one of them and we had some great success together and and um, I wish the world could these guys come from all over um, uh, backgrounds and we all bonded as a as a team and and won some championships of course uh, we we only we came in third place one year uh, where we uh, lost one game. I didn't play that game, so I can't take, take credit for that loss. I played four years, I didn't lose a game. <laughs> I tell them that all the time. But <clears throat> uh, I'd like to also thank my, uh, my wife of uh, 45 years, who I met uh, at Mail High School, and uh, she came to Kentucky Wesleyan. It took me about three years to, to convince her to fall in love with me and to finally agree to get married. Uh, we could have had 50 years or so, but uh, she, she finally uh, succumbed. Her mother gave her a little push there and, and helped her come to her senses, and, but she, <laughs> she has been the backbone of our family and continues to keep us all straight. So uh, thank you, Sarita, for, for always being there. I love you dearly. Also is my son, who's here, uh, George II. We call him G2. Uh, very proud of you, George, for all that you do. He's grown up to be a handsome young man, even though he does look like me. Uh, and uh, everybody uh, falls in love with him. And, and he's, he's, uh, he's doing a great job in our, in our business. My daughter couldn't be here today, Penny Danielle, but she's, uh, we're texting her every minute. She's sick and, and could not travel, so we're texting her to let her know all the different things that are going on so she can be a part of it. She texted me right before I came out and said, I'm right there with you, Dad. I'm in your heart. So uh, that, was, that was special. Uh, and uh, love her dearly and just glad she's, uh, uh, she's here. I want to thank um, uh, also a lady named Fanny Pennybaker. Fanny Pennybaker was my birth mother. She, she uh, had me and she left me with that babysitter 
and uh, for that babysitter to do her work. Um, you know, I, I know we, we probably all have some tough situations in our lives, and I was able to meet her uh, after, uh, when I turned 27, I, I took out, set out to find my family, and I found my mother, and I found my father, and I found 16 brothers and sisters uh, that, uh, that were out there. And, and so I had a chance to meet my mother, and I had a chance to meet my father, who I'd never known all through my uh, high school and college uh, career, and also pro career. So, uh, but I want to thank them because they did put me here on earth. Lastly, I want to thank God because through God all things uh, uh, come, and He has uh, He has been there uh, in in my uh, and as I communicate with Him in my own way, and uh, let Him know that I appreciate everything He's done for me, the doors He's opened, and and to continue this this battle. I, my whole goal in life is to is to reach back and give back to the community, give back to uh, youngsters uh, and even adults to help motivate them and let them know that they can be whatever they want to be, no matter what color your skin uh, you, might be, no matter how big or how fat or whatever the situation is, or you're being poor or whatever, you can still be what you want to be, uh, a success in this world so just work hard and stay focused and as I told the youngsters uh, young guys earlier today uh, take advantage of every opportunity you have now in small college where you there's a lot of uh, closeness uh, you're close to your teachers you're close to your coaches you're close to to the program and so you get an opportunity really to develop relationships that are going to mean something to you uh, later on in life and open it'll hopefully open doors for you so this is uh, this is uh, it's been an outstanding day. Uh, I, I will never forget this day. Uh, once again, I thank the uh, Small College Basketball uh, Organization for making this possible. Thank you, and have a good evening. Thank you.